Hello and welcome to the den. My name's Eric and it's Friday. So this week on the den, we are telling back to school stories. So um, I'm gonna tell you something super embarrassing about something that I did numerous times on the first day of school for many years. <laughs> I grew up, you know, in a lower middle income family. We got, you know, new clothes and new shoes pretty much like just a few times a year, right? So we would always get new shoes before school. My grandmother would go out and buy all the grandkids new shoes. And uh, we would go to like, you know, JCPenney or Sears or something and buy like a couple of new outfits, some new pants, some new jeans, a couple of nice shirts, you know, nothing too fancy. And uh, we would have nice first day of school impression outfits, maybe a new backpack, something like that. You know, you know the only other times of year that you got like new clothes like this was like Christmas, right? Um, Cause then you'd get like all your winter stuff, you know, like, you know, sweaters and, you know, sweatshirts and, you know, thick pants and whatever. And uh, extra socks because everyone gets extra socks at Christmas. And then um, usually on your birthday, like you also get clothes on your birthday. And you know, looking back on it, actually like that kind of spacing for me was not too bad because that's like April, September, and December. That's like, you know, almost quarterly, semesterly kind of action. That's not too bad. First day of school, um, when I was in elementary and middle school, just like today, I have this kind of like fear of crowds, you know, like I'm really, really super nervous going into groups of people. And my school wasn't very large. It wasn't like hundreds and hundreds of kids. It was like, I had a class of like 112, right? My graduating class was like 112, 113 people. So it wasn't like overwhelming like these big city schools. It was like, you know, a small little, you know, village public school. And, um, you know, I knew all the same people, but I wasn't friends with them. I didn't have a lot of friends when I was growing up. I had family, um, but they were all like younger or older, uh, older than me. Uh, most all of them are younger than me. I'm like one of the first of my generation of kids in my family. Um, so I was always kind of like alone uh, in that respect and I was very introverted so I would like read a lot and be in my room a lot and you know I would go to the library and be by myself and stuff like that. So going back to school um, after months of being kind of like isolated or being around like just the closeness of my family and then being thrust into a situation with people exactly the same age as me but who I didn't really know very well or hang out with in any particular way was extremely nerve wracking. I was always extremely nervous on the first day of school. Um, and for the first five or six years, like from first grade to like sixth grade, I think, I would inevitably sometime during the day barf all over myself, all over my brand new clothes. And there was this one girl, and I think that this is like my sixth grade barf out moment, was this one girl, like I puked at my desk on myself and it hit the desk and hit her shoe. And it was like her new shoe. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed and so traumatized. And like, you know, the teachers are all very nice. and like, oh no, go to the school nurse and we'll call your parents and they'll come get you. And uh, I would be relieved and then have to come back. And then the next day, day two, that Tuesday of going back to school was always that recovery period where it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I barfed on myself and the desk and your shoe, and I'm like, really sorry. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So, I mean, like, even to this day, I kind of have this, like, introversion, and there's nothing wrong with introversion. Um, you know, I think that's part of the reason why I come across the way I do in these videos, is because I feel like I'm talking to myself in many ways, even though I'm talking to you. Um, you're all still kind of out there. I'm here in my house by myself, um, sharing my stories with you. Um, so having that space uh, actually makes me feel like 
freer. Like, you know, you can kind of see it in me, like, I'm really ebullient and, like, you know, charged up. And it's because I'm, like, deeply alone. <laughs> So like, you know, this happens today, so like when I go to like bars and clubs and stuff, um, it takes me a really long time, especially like parties, like parties with people that I've never met before. I'm like really slow to warm up to people. Like I don't mingle and talk a lot. Like I'm, I'm definitely a wallflowery kind of person. And I think about like when you get a new fish at the, at the pet store and they come in a little plastic bag and you're like, don't put it directly into the water because it'll get shock and it could die. Um, and I feel like I'm not fish in a bag, you know? So like I have to be in the water, like letting myself acclimatize to these new people and then eventually the water will equalize in temperature and I can release myself from my own plastic bag and talk to other people. <laughs> so there you go! That's my video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed my Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round t-shirt. Uh-huh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And uh, if you want to see me, I'm here every Friday. And I will see you next Friday. Cheers!